Welcome back, guys, to this portion of the editing section. If you have not already, please go check out the other videos. I cover calling all the way up to uh, this part of the editing. So if you haven't watched any of the other editing videos, look down in the description and you will find them there. So moving right along, because we got a lot to go through, this is where we ended. I'm going to copy my settings because I like them. Move on to the next photo, paste them. This one's got a little bit of flare in it, so it's going to be a little bit brighter. Straighten it out. I'm going to grab some shadows and throw them in there. This would be a really good black and white. Anything with flare always looks good in black and white. Um, but I'm going to just keep throwing some shadows in there. Blacks would also do great. Maybe we'll try throwing some blacks in there. Take some of those shadows out. I'm going to cool it down just a touch. Not that much. Jeez. Exposure down a touch. You know, I'm not liking how this is looking with that flare. Let's black and white it. Highlights down a touch. I can't tell if that's straight. I, feel, I think they're on a slope or something. My eyes always play games with me. I'm just going to stick with it. This is my wife's shot. I'm going to delete it. Back to my shot. I'm going to paste the settings from the photo two shots before. Exposure up. Straighten, copy, move on. This is my wife's shot. Gonna paste the settings from before, and it's not looking very good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of the blacks, maybe. Touch up on the shadows. Something like that, I don't know. Keep going up with that exposure. Shh. Highlights down just a touch. Exposure down a click. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Paste my settings. That does not look good. Exposure up. So it looks a little bit too contrasty for me. I'm gonna bring exposure up. Highlights down just a touch. Shadows, I'm going to bring them back up. Uh, and that's starting to get a little too bright, so I'm going to bring the exposure down a click. Warm it up just a couple. It looks a little sharp. Too sharp for me. That's kind of funny thing to say, I suppose. But I think the grain might make it look... Sh start making it look a little sharp. Art's just a really sharp photo at 1.8. And that is what you can achieve sometimes with uh, manual focus. A very sharp shot. So I'm going to go in reverse a little bit and add a little bit more grain to make it less sharp, which, again, seems counterproductive. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. I don't know why I do half the things I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to still kind of play with this photo a little bit. Shadows, I'm going, to, I'm going to try bringing them down. Exposure, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go down to saturation of orange. Kick it up. I'm going to stick with that. I might have to return to these photos. Paste this head into the shot from before. Exposure down. Right there. Copy. Going to paste. Move on. Paste the shot from before. Exposure up a touch. Saturation of orange, I'm going to bring down actually to 25 now. There we go. Back to my shot. Paste. I like that. I think I'm going to, uh, again, bring that saturation back down to 25. Um, I'm liking that color. That's making me happy. So let's go ahead and select all the way to here and then sync these settings. And then uh, we can do some fine adjustments. This is cat shot, exposure down. Back to my shot, a little odd of a crop. I could bring it in. A 
Back to cat shot. Exposure down a touch. Skin is still kind of orange on these. Down 10% or 10 on the saturation of orange. Moving on. Going to bring that crop in also. This is a great shot. I like this. Um, I'm going to full screen this, take a look at it. That makes me happy. Looks great. Colors are looking just dandy. I'm okay with the brightness on this. Move on. I'm okay with that. Just maybe straighten it up a little. Shot of the guys. And then a shot of the ladies. A shot of all of them. I'm going to bring that exposure back down. I'm a little... I was a little overexposed there. Saturation of orange. I'm going to try bringing it back up now to match the other photos. I'm seeing a little saturation of their lips. Almost looks like it's going down. So I'm going to grab the red and bring it back up to zero where it was originally default. I'm okay with that now. Let's copy paste onto the next photo. That last photo probably wasn't straight either. I'll go back one. Do one click to the left. Paste my settings. I'm okay with that. Let's move on. Paste it, paste it. I'm not sure why I keep leaving all that space on the left. Maybe my eye wasn't pushed up against the viewfinder or something. I don't know. But I can crop it and it's okay. I prefer not to crop, of course. Get it right in the camera, but of course that doesn't always happen. Exposure down. Same thing as before. Uh, I'm going to black and white this one just because I have so many shots, variations, uh, black and white. Going to go ahead and crop this a little bit. Exposure down, two clicks, straighten it up. There we go. And then I think we're back to the beginning of this, uh, the section I selected. Uh, because we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and crop this real quick. And then we'll go down here to where we ended, right here, onto the ladies. Uh, this is what we pasted, I think, from before. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste my settings from the shots we just edited, and that looks a little too orange. Uh, so saturation of orange is obviously cranked up. Um, I'm going to bring it back down to plus 20, uh, and then the temperature down just a touch. Highlights down just a little bit. Bring some shadows back into the shot. Touch down and exposure. And then I'm going to paste these settings. I'm happy with how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and paste these settings on all the girls' shots. There's a lot. Select that many. That's 62 right there. I will click sync. And then um, now I'll move on to the next shot. Uh, as you can see with two cameras, it's hard to, of course, match up exposures. Cat shot a little darker. I shot a little brighter, vice versa. Uh, so when you're editing, you know, you just have to adjust per camera. People might do smart collections. I don't like doing that. I just kind of like to see them all together. Uh, that helps me if I need to delete something. Um, it's a lot easier. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to just copy these settings because this was cat shot, and I might have to paste them onto another shot in a little bit. Exposure up, straighten, move on. Exposure up one click. I'm okay with how it looks. I don't know. Actually, maybe I'll br uh, bring the temperature up just a touch. I think I want it warmer. Yeah? How do we feel about that? I think that's good. Uh, because I made that adjustment, I'm going to deselect the last three because I liked how they looked. And now just resync and move on. It says cat shot. Looks like she got a good exposure on this one, or at least uh, one that matched up with my camera. I'm just going to straighten it and put, uh, click it up or bump it up two clicks on the exposure. Now we're on this shot. Exposure up two or three clicks. I'll go down one more. Somewhere right there. Up okay detail. 
that looks good. Touch up, brightness, two clicks up, one click up. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Want to catch shots? Touch up on exposure. Right about there. That looks good. Uh, on to my shot. Looks like she had a way better um, a tilt than I did. <laughs> or at least she was straight and I wasn't. I don't think I'm ever going to shoot straight. I just, I don't know. It's like a problem I have, I swear. Uh, straighten it up. Exposure up a little bit. Kind of want this to be really bright. Uh, I st I mean, I'm at 8,000, but that's just because of the the spot I'm in. But I'm going to try bumping this up. 8,200. 80, let's just do... Uh, Let's just leave it at that. It looks good. Copy those settings. Paste them. Looks like I brought my exposure down, so I'm going to brighten it back up to match the last shot. Somewhere around there. I think that's straight, right? Paste the settings from before. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and just double check. I see... It almost looks, again, too sharp. Um, so I'm going to go down to grain and just kind of just play with it. I'm going to push a little more grain than I'm, I usually do. Um, and then straighten it up. And I like that. So I'm going to, again, from where we just edited this shot right here, select it, move all the way over, and then resync. And um, move on. I think that's straight. Gosh, I can never tell. Want to catch shots? Leave it at that, nice and bright. I'm going to delete that shot just because her face is a little different. Uh, behind shot, exposure down. I'll leave it at that. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, when you print photos... And this is, you know, probably obvious to most. Uh, but when you print photos, you look at a printed photo on a sheet of photo paper, of course, and it's not illuminated like our screens are that we edit on. So um, what I've kind of done a lot is printed photos at the lab that I use, and that's PhotoVision here in uh, Oregon. And um, I'll, I'll bring the photos back home, and I'll kind of compare it to my catalog in Lightroom. And I'll see, like, okay, is there's how much darker is there's versus my catalog, or versus the photo I edited in Lightroom. And what I've noticed, you know, over the last several years, I, I'm just real quick too. I'm just doing minor adjustments just to exposure and tilt on these while I'm talking. Uh, what I've noticed is when I compare them to the shots I've edited, um, the photos, of course, are going to be a lot darker. And so what I've kind of realized and gotten to a place is um, I. I turn the brightness of my screen on my laptop down uh, to where it matches up with the photo. And so that usually is somewhere around like, oh man, I don't know, like two, three, four clicks down on my MacBook Pro. Uh, and it's pretty dark. Um, and so it's something, you know, you have to realize, you know, when you look at a photo of, of a print, you're, you're not looking at it, of course, through a, uh, a backlit um, photo like you are on a backlit computer screen. So always keep that in mind and uh, kind of figure all those things out, all those details. So I'm just going through these still um, using the settings that we pasted from before, but I'm just bumping up exposures, straightening, and uh, moving on. Straighten, exposure up. Great shot. I'm going to just uh, straighten it, exposure up. The hue of orange is going to change skin tone. So if you like, uh, or if you think your skin tone is too red, you can always go to the right, make it more yellow. Uh, vice versa, of course, you can make it more red. So that's really helpful in situations where the, the grass could be reflecting on their skin, uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to leave it there. That looks the most natural. That's uh, at zero. Uh, and it looks like on uh, all these settings, or on these photos that I uh, synced, they're on a minus five. So I'm going to go zero now. Select this shot. And you know the drill. I'm going to go all the way over, select that, and then just resync. Exposure up. 
move on. Exposure up, move on. Exposure up, move on. Onto this shot, I'm going to bring exposure down somewhere around there. On to the next. I don't know. I kind of like how bright it is. I'm going to leave that there. Vertical shot. Uh, maybe I'll fix my crop. Uh, did that crop? I don't think that crop worked. There. Okay. Another funny shot. I don't know. I saw it in the moment, and I thought, why the heck not? This was a Pinterest shot, I believe, that she saw. Uh, the one that was further out in all of them. So I thought maybe I'll just uh, pull in close for a detail shot of bouquets again. Maybe she'd find it goofy or something. I don't know. And then I always do individuals with a bride and groom. So this is the, what these are. Uh, we'll just kind of jet through these. The lighting, everything so far is great. If you want to just, uh, again, always peek at the settings, 5D Mark three. ISO 200 and the 50 millimeter at 1.8, one one thousandths of a second. Um, I'll just reset it just so you can see the raw out of the camera. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Perfectly exposed, almost in my opinion. Probably could have been brighter, but whatever. Not a big deal. It's shooting raw. So, um, yeah. So you can see we're going really warm, warm tones on this one. Uh, I dig that. I like it. Straighten it out. I always tell them, you know, if it's a fun group, I'll feel it out, but um, I always tell them, hey, uh, think of a, you know, well, I'm going to delete this just because I have so many photos. Think of a photo that will be funny with, with the bride or, or the groom, uh, if I'm shooting groomsmen. And uh, do, you know, do a regular one like this, be all cute, be happy and all that, and uh, buddy, buddy. But then uh, do something funny if you have it. Um, and I don't always do it with all the groups. I don't even think I did it with this group. Oh, I did. Okay. Some of them did it. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of, it's sometimes can be really fun and I think they'll look back on the photos and maybe, maybe they'll like it. Who knows? <laughs> so just something to keep in mind, like have fun with your bridal party, especially if they're a fun group. Um, don't, don't, don't get stressed. Don't get worried. Don't get, um, you know, don't be a time pusher. Just be there on the day and have fun with them. Uh, and they'll really remember that you, you know, you were there and you enjoyed the day. Uh, and you weren't uh, getting in the way, uh, you weren't, you know, hopefully not awkward and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just straightening these out. I'm okay with the exposures. They all look great. Um, one thing I've learned over the years is, um, I learned this from another photographer, and I don't always follow it, to be honest, because it's, I don't know, it can be impractical sometimes, but if you're shooting uh, all, you know, a series of photos like we are here, okay, so that's the end of that set. Um, now we're on to the guys. But yeah, if you're shooting a series of photos in the same spot, um, find your exposure and stick to it and just shoot it for you know however many photos you're going to do. So like 10, 20, 30 photos. Once you get in post-production, you can see we just went through all of those photos and all I changed was really the crop because the exposures were the same. Uh, so I don't know, it helps you in the long run and um, in post-production, of course. So on to the guys. Um, I'm going to just paste these settings from before and just see where we're at. Okay, exposure down. It's a little green. I'm going to go to the hue of orange. Go more red on skin tone. Maybe um, warm it up just a touch. I don't know how I feel about that, so I'm going to just copy the settings for now and then paste them. Um, so I'm going to paste... This is a little bit of a hazy shot. You can always fix that with throwing blacks in there like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and black and white it. It's kind of more of a serious shot. So I'm okay with that. Throw more blacks in there. Somewhere around there. Paste my settings from a couple shots before. Exposure up. I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to copy, paste, exposure down a click. I'll go back down to the hue of orange and uh, go to zero. Uh, saturation of orange, I might just kick it up a touch, I think. Copy these settings. 
paste. I was shooting these at 1.8, and um, yeah, they look pretty good. Straighten them up. Um, some might ask, well, why are you cutting off their feet? What's up with your framing style? Oh, man, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It's just a style, I guess. You know, we all have, have a different style. So paste my settings, exposure up. Um, I have a bunch of of the same shots coming up right there. So I'm going to just real quick sync them. And then we'll move on to the next one. Next one. Uh, that actually could be a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter. Classy suit shot. This is kind of like the bouquet equivalent, for, but for guys. Um, I don't do this often, but they they put themselves in this pose, and I was like, oh, shoot, why the heck not? Why not? Uh, this is them giving him advice, I think, something like that. So we'll see what we can do with this. I pasted my settings from the couple shots before. Exposure down. Uh, I'm going to bring the temperature down, too. Throw some shadows back in here. Gonna zoom in and just, uh, there's some chromatic aberration. I'm not gonna worry about it. If you wanted to, you could always, you know, go here and uh, remove chromatic aberration like that. You can see it kind of slowly goes away. I find that it um, messes with um, lips and anything that's purple. So, I don't know. Let's go back and try it again. Maybe we'll just remove a slight amount, and you can see that kind of gets rid of it. Uh, so the grain, I'm going to go to the size of the grain and bring it up a little. And then I got a bunch of shots coming up that are the same. So I'm going to just uh, copy and paste them all, yeah? Here we go, moving on. Just like that, I'm okay with that exposure. Straighten it, move on. Straighten it. Move on. Straighten it, move on. Some of these will be great in black and white, so I should probably, uh, in a bit, do black and white. Warm that up. Right there. Paste the settings from before. I did not tell them to do that. <laughs> they just were a fun group, like I said. Exposure, it looks like I'm, um, okay, yeah. Exposure up. I'm going to get rid of some of the blacks now. And then um, see if adding magenta makes me happy. Does that make me happy? I don't know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Again, click the like button below the subscribe button if you have not already. I'm putting these videos out a lot. This is a fun series. Leave a comment. really uh, lets me know that you guys like it. Um, also, that like button, of course. Share it. And if you have not watched any of the other videos, go check them out below. And uh, until the next one, thank you so much.